Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's time to start a new project, and I told you guys that it wasn't going to be a hot rod or a muscle car. So, you probably already saw the thumbnail, so it's no big surprise. But I'm going to be building Porsche 911 992 GT3. Um, this is quite a kit. Um, I contacted Alpha uh, a little while ago, and I asked them if they would like to collaborate and uh, let me build something on my channel. And uh, they agreed to it, so they sent me two kits, and I'm going to review them on the channel, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I really think that these are great kits. Um, I've never built one before, but I've seen some built kits, and they look spectacular. So let's take a look inside of the box and see what's going on. All right, so the box end has a color picture on this side, and it's supposed to have a picture on this end. But when you open up the box, this is what's supposed to be on the front. So it's a Porsche 911 992 GT3. So it's got a special wing, special ground effects. Neat car. Let's see what's in the box. This. This is what we really came to look at. Put all the rest of that aside. Let me move all this other step out of the way. So this is the part that everybody wants to see, because that's what I wanted to see first. So there's the body, the interior, and a very thin plate, and this is the chassis plate. Um, there's three holes in it, um, actually four holes, for screws to uh, sandwich it all together. But it's a very fine detailing, even if it's just a blank chassis. Lots of uh, character to this. There'll be a rear diffuser that locks in place right there. The interior tub, if you want to call it that. Um, there's not much to it here, but we'll get back to this. The body, if you flip it over, it's just a big chunk of resin, but um, the important side is this side. If you look at the fine detail all over this thing, it's beautiful, beautiful resin casting. It's, it's just hard for me to believe that this is a resin cast model car. Just everything's so crisp and clean. This, this detail back here. It's smooth, you know, there's no texture to this. There's no no, nothing. It's actually too smooth. I'm going to have to rough it up with some sandpaper before I put primer on it. But, God, it's just gorgeous. And it will look the part when it's finished. Remember I was talking about that chassis? Look at the fit. I'm moving it around. It's just such a precise fit for resin casting. It's like Legos or something. So second thing that's most important to me is the decal sheet. This is all carbon fiber. So I'm gonna be applying a lot of carbon fiber decals all over the body, the top, the front end, the wing, the spoiler, go in the seats, the rear diffuser, and lots of tiny itty bitty carbon fiber decals. This will really bring it to life when I finish it. Let's see what's in this bag. Okay, so this is one of the door panels. See the fine engraving in that? It's just got a, a pore mark that needs to be cut off. But, God, look at the detail in that. This is the front end. So let's test fit it real fast. Oh, the pore mark here is interfering with that. Or is that a pore mark? Nope. It's not. Hold on. It lines right up with this piece here. And it just snapped in place. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. It's got even pins in it. <laughs> 
to pin it in place. Next up we have the dash and there's decals foot on the decal sheet. This this looks like it uh, may open up. I'm not sure yet. Poor Mark. But man, is that nice. Here's that rear diffuser that I was talking about earlier with the exhaust tips coming out of the back. This will all get carbon fibered. And this is the center console. Beautiful. Let's bring that up a little bit. You'd swear this is plastic, but it's poured resin. It's not 3D printed resin, it's poured resin. Judging by the support on the bottom. That's the pour mark. We have a seat. Nice engraving. It looks like they're matched um, left and right. Because there's a... What's the engraving in that? Gorgeous. No big sink mark in the back. Very nice. These will be the uh, wheel mounting stubs. There's the headlights, projector style. Not really sure what this one is quite yet, but look at that steering wheel. Brick calipers, and yes, they are open at the top. And detailed on both sides. Not just like on the face of it or anything. These are the brake discs, which there's car there's uh, photo wedge pieces to go over these. So, rear wing with the, the mounts. Some grill pieces. These tiny little things. Oh, wheel centers. But of course. These look like, oh, armrests for the doors. Just in case you want to paint them a different color. This one looks like center console armrest. Okay, we got a side mirror, very nicely cast. I mean, there's no cleanup, no, no scraping, no sanding. I'm just gonna scuff them up before I paint them. Beautiful. Uh, exhaust tips, molded open, of course. Look at that fine engraving on those, whatever these are. A mirror and a gear shifter. Look at that gear shifter. These look like I don't know. I don't know what they are. Oh, that looks like a air conditioner vent or something. I'll find out later what all these parts are. That looks like a door handle. More tiny parts. Those look like seatbelt receptors. The other mirror. And the clutch and brake. Or gas. Yeah, gas and brake pedal. And look, there's no seam to scrape. Beautifully cast. More roll bar. Not really sure what this is, but I'll find out later. And the steering stock. I mean, there's no cleanup 
at all. It's just an even little mounting thing for it. I'll hold it with a alligator clip and paint it right up. Okay, so they are no-name tires. I mean, let's not have got any licensing for that. But I see just a little bit. Of, yep, there's a little bit of cleanup to do on these wheels. Look at that. No big deal. Very, very nice, delicate casting. You can tell, yeah, just a little bit of cleanup to do. No big deal. These are the clear pieces. I'm not going to take them out of the bag, but we've got um, headlight covers. We've got some indicator lights. And I'm not sure what else. Now for the bag of goodies. Look at this bag. This is thick uh, brass. So these would be the, the uprights for the wing. This is a thinner piece, and these are see-through. So those are all venting and stuff. Those look like they go on the brakes down there. Mirror faces. Very nice. This one kind of scares me. These are Porsche letters. They look like they have to be applied individually. How can I get that? So it doesn't reflect. You know, let's take my word for it. Seatbelt buckles. Um, yeah, seatbelt buckles, the word Porsche. And yeah, there we go. GT3. Porsche emblem. Geez, yeah, those are going to be kind of tough to place those, those letters Porsche on the back of the car. Glad they gave me two. Here's a decal sheet with the emblems, Porsche emblems. Those must go right over the photo edge to make them 3D. When you're finished with the car, oops, when you're finished with the car, you can put this on a base plate to show off that it's an alpha model, Porsche 911. There's the brakes and some grills. There's the paddle shifters. Sorry about the lighting. Um, what does that say? I'm not sure what all those little tiny ones are, but those will be fun to apply. And number plates. Oh, well, actually, those are hubs, because these are the brake discs. Holy smokes. Look at that. Looks like insides and outsides of the brakes. We got some window wipers. Those will be fun to build. Yeah, and um, pedals. These are for the seat belts. They're in brass. And these are the windows. Now you say, oh, well, how could those be windows? I've seen other guys uh, put these on and basically, it's, uh, they're very, very thin, and uh, you cut these out, and you place it, and glue it on one side, and then glue it on the other side, and they're the, the like, most perfect windows. You can see right through them. They're absolutely clear. There's a protective film on both sides of this so that you don't get your fingerprints all over it, but, man, they're so, they look so authentic when you put the car together. Very cool. Last but not least, let's look at the instruction sheet. It's not much for instructions, per se. Not much for per instructions, per se, but it's really more of a sort of an outline of what, what goes on. So it shows you gotta put some screws in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there's your brake assemblies. Shows where to put photo wedge pieces and decals, decals. Oh, there's something on the other side here. Shows you to put that window in the front. Okay, 
That makes sense. Yeah, neat. Little photo etch pieces inside the lights. Wow. Decals, more photo etched. There's the wiper assembly. Here's the dashboard, lots of photo etched and carbon fiber decals. Here's the interior, more carbon fiber decals, more photo etched. Same with the interior, the roll cage. This is a two seater. We got the rear end for the more photo etch pieces, carbon fiber, focus, more photo etch. Oh, there's the letters. There's the letters, go across the back. That'll be fun. Some indicator lights. And of course the back window, that's where that goes. Here's the interior again, seat belts. Shows you how to put the carbon fiber on the back of the seat. Nice. And on the back, here's just a breakdown of all the pieces in the kit. So there you have it. What do you guys think? I think it's quite a project. I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. And uh, I think I have to study the study the parts and see where everything goes and what color everything needs to be before I even start doing anything to it. So I'll be doing some studying and uh, we'll get started real soon with it. But I just wanted to do an unboxing and uh, show you guys what's in the kit, show you what I'm up against for the next month, and um, we'll get on it. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. You still here? Go, go ahead and watch the next video. Hit the subscribe button. Bye.